as I promised, a new video about touch notes. So, this is an app, and this is a review. Okay, just create a new page. Okay, so before I go through everything, I'm just gonna show you the settings that I have for this app. And uh, yeah, this is a paid A, but this what I'm using right now is the free version. When you first install touch notes, you will have like two weeks of paid version yeah for free so it have this like yeah common detachable that you can reposition um what was it called i don't i don't remember what was it called this bar yeah it is detachable and you can reposition it so first you have of course undo and redo button and uh, next we have like stickers the one with stars is the stickers but that is paid version and the next is like um auto shapes like when you even when you what is the difference with enabling and disabling it is if you enable these auto shapes when you write it will turns to shape it won't turn into like handwriting it will turns to weird shapes okay so i always put it off and at below we have like where you can position the page like go to page one and page two and we have like the navigation bar where we can like navigate all the page we have and then we have this like history list of the notes that we have made okay and then we have like this gear like icon which is setting tools at page and then add image but there's i'm just i'm gonna show you how to add image like easy just open the gallery in pop-up view we do this on samsung note as well just drag the pictures into the page and voila there you have it your picture okay we always do this method okay and then we have like full screen i don't like having it in full screen and then we have style this is where you can choose the page template the color of the page and everything you can customize it there but there are only four templates like a uh, plain lines uh grids and dotted line that's all that's all there's no like planner or calendar thing but you can have like free pdf on pinterest or anywhere and just like annotate the pdf as a template okay and then we're gonna move on with log movement of course log movement is when you cannot zoom in and zoom out and then we have auto recognition this is the auto shapes that i was talking about before and we have mass mark pen mass mark pen is actually just putting the pen the handwriting at the back of things like pictures and all that thing that is ma mass mark pen yeah so and then we have pen for moving this was just actually like having a read mode yeah and then we have save web search that i don't really use and then we go to export okay we can export this as image we doesn't have any issue with that we have an issue with the metamoji not light so this is the image that we save the notes that we save and we also can export this export it as pdf so if you watch my metamoji not light tutorial video we cannot export the notes from metamoji as pdf there is like a bit of issue i don't know why but we can do it here okay you also can share an email save it to our google drive or anything like that yeah this is the proof that we can export it as pdf that is the file you're gonna open it using Zodo and then we open it using Zodo and I'm just gonna show you the quality of the PDF yeah it is in great quality still in high resolution just like the picture itself so yeah that's good and we're gonna move on with the side okay so we have penned this is um, I think this is like fondant penned Okay, you can change the precision sensitivity and this is how how it looks like okay 
and I'm gonna show you how to change the color and the size go here okay this is where you can like just like me to imagine like you have like pink cases you can like save some sizes and then you can save some colors but you can just change it to another color and then this is like extra three cases for colors but if you want to add more colors that you want to save you have to pay for it but that wasn't really a big deal because you can just change the colors you doesn't have to save it okay you are not that lazy okay and then we're gonna go with okay still with the fountain pen and this is how it looks like i don't know i don't really like it you know it wasn't it doesn't look good if you like write the letters one by one but it will look good if you like do some type of like calligraphy or anything like that that is good for fountain pen but for regular writing it isn't that good i don't really like it for me the next move on we're gonna go with the highlights for the highlights we can just like change the opacity and everything just change it to anything that you like if you want it to be like highlights you can just lower the opacity just like what i told you in my too much not light video and you have like this round highlighters and also these um straight highlighters okay so yeah that was pretty good which is pretty common in digital note taking app okay and then we have this like standard pen we only have three pens fountain pen highlights and standard pen and this is how this standard st this standard pen looks like don't worry i'm gonna show a proper i'm gonna show the pens in a proper way okay this is how the fountain pen looks like okay so i'm gonna label it as well so just to make it more clear to see it clearly 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 <sighs> okay and then we're gonna go with we have the highlights this is how it looks like it has the round one and the straight one the square one and then you can just like um put the opacity to the highest and then you can use it as pen okay and then the next one is the standard pen you can change the size remember you can change the size you can change the color it wasn't a paid version it's free so yeah this is how the three pens looks like now we're gonna move on with eraser well it's it is eraser and it works like it's erasing things but there's like few options where you can just like erase the standard pen only or you can erase everything or you can just erase the highlighter only or you can just clear up the whole page yeah then we have here text okay we have here we can we cannot change the fonts unless you pay for it we can change the size that's pretty good and we can reposition it and also we also can change the color of the font we have we also have bold italic underline which is pretty common and we also have the background text like we can add background to the text which is pretty common as well so it is good that it didn't that we didn't have to pay for it because this is like a pretty basic one that should exist in digital not taking up okay next we have this like shapes like we can make straight lines it doesn't really need this actually we can just make straight line straight away and we have dotted line we have this like curve line you can readjust it and then also we have like yeah you can readjust this like this pretty impressive and then we have like this arrow and then we have like double arrow and we have square so actually we didn't really need this shape thing because it is already there like when you i'm gonna show you later okay this is lasso lasso tool you know lasso tool it's like things and you can copy paste and reposition put it backwards put it upwards 
Okay, I'm gonna show you just a little bit of writing here. I don't really like write nicely here, but yeah, you can write it nicely, better than me because it was just like writing, okay? And yeah, I'm just using the highlights. You can put the highlights backwards and upwards, pretty common. And then also, what I'm talking about, it doesn't need like the straight line things because this app already have it like this auto correct like you see this like it is already even if you didn't if you disable the auto recognition things that i said before you doesn't have to enable it you still have these like auto shape things you can like just draw like crook line and just wait for a few seconds and then it goes straight this is what i love about this app because this is usually will only be available if you have active stylus or you have to pay for it but this this thing is free in touch notes i think that is the biggest the biggest thing the biggest star in this app that that's it that's all actually the other thing was just like pretty common in mostly all digital notes taking up that is free but that auto shape thing like the auto correct that's that's impressive because they give it for free and also you can add cover page they have like this pre-existed cover page and you also can like use your own image as a cover but i don't really like having cover page it wasn't really like important okay oh uh, yeah pre-existed images and if you want to custom the images you have to pay for it so i don't really think we are okay with the free version it is already perfect okay we are okay with the free version oh and also this video i just want to say thank you so much we just reached 2k subscribers a few days ago and i just want to say thank you so much for the lovely support and the never ending support yeah that's all and i just want to say thank you for watching